Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are doing a general love reading for the month of April going into May. So in this message, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding the situation here with you and your partner. We'll look at what's challenging the two of you and the outcome if you stay in this energy. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's dive right into Scorpio's energy for the end of April going into May. Let's see what is going to come out for you through this energy. Most important message for Scorpio spirit. What do my Scorpion friends need to know? What do they need to see through the upcoming energy? Please and thank you. Five of Wands, Seven of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. I definitely feel like there is a particular person in your life, Scorpio, that's always causing conflict, that's always causing chaos. And this reading is talking about you setting boundaries with this person. Now, part of the challenge here is this is a person that you have a hard time walking away from for whatever reason. Now, some of you may have a deep connection. Some of you may have kids together. We're going to clarify all of this here in a moment. But I definitely feel here, Scorpio, and you don't have to walk away from this person necessarily, but you do have to understand <clears throat> if they're not going to follow through or stop or you know whatever boundary you set so if you say i need you to communicate more if they don't communicate more you have to have what's going to happen if they don't communicate more kind of like not like you're giving them an ultimatum it's just knowing what you want in your life scorpio and not allowing anybody to show up as anything less so you can say to this person, I would like you to communicate a little bit better or a little bit more. And this is just an example. But if you aren't able to communicate, I'm not going to be as interested in this connection anymore. And I might start getting distance. So, you know, and a conversation goes both ways. So I can't just be reaching out to you all the time. You have to be reaching out to me. And that's just an example. Maybe that is what exactly it's resonating for you as. Maybe your person is having a hard time communicating. But I definitely feel here, Scorpio, there's something. Okay? Seven of Swords. So some sort of deception. Some sort of them hiding something not allowing you to know the full story or everything up front. Again, part of the challenge is having a hard time walking away. So even if in the past you've said, hey, I can't handle deception or I can't handle distance and they still do that, you're still there. See what I mean? So if this is something that you don't want in your life, Scorpio, you have to make that determination in your mind and then you have to stand your ground in that. That's what a boundary is. It's knowing what you will and won't accept in your life and communicating that properly to another person. So let's clarify the tower. The Eight of Cups, the Page of Swords. You see? Every time you 
walk away from this person. You guys have a tendency to come back around each other, to reconcile. But then the same thing happens again. It's a re repeat of the past cycle. You guys have a disagreement and then you walk away. And, and it's a repeat over and over again. And how do we make this stop? You have to stop allowing this. Stop allowing this person to come back into your life. If they want to leave, then they have to stand their ground in that. But just equally as important, you have to stand your ground in not allowing them to come back. I hope this is making sense for you, Scorpio, because there's a need for you to set a boundary with a particular person in your life in regards to something that's causing a lot of con conflict, something that's causing a lot of chaos. And I feel like this is more internal than anything, right? It's not knowing where you stand with a particular person, especially if this person is in and out, back and forth. So this hermit card keeps coming up. This is the second time. So the hermit is knowing your path, your purpose, your ins and outs of yourself okay it's the hermit ultimately is a person who is taking some distance taking some space going internally and figuring out what it is that they truly want in their life now maybe that's something that you're doing maybe that's something that's needed at this time I do feel like there's a little bit of a need to get clear on those personal boundaries so what you want in your life is equally as important of what you won't allow. And again, being able to communicate that clearly. For those of you that are wondering, will the, you, me and this person get back together or will this ever work out? Here's what I will say. If both of you keep showing up in the same energy, you're going to get the same result. Only until you guys shift your vibration, which happens through healing, will this be able to work. So, what does that mean? If you guys do the inner work, heal, and come together, it could work. But if you choose a different path, if this person chooses a different path, then it's just going to be a repeat of the same cycle. Are you and this person soulmates? There are some cards coming out here that would be symbolic of a soul tie connection. But more importantly, there is a lesson to be learned here with this person that still hasn't been learned because the hanged man is also coming out in the reading. So taking your time and honestly, guys, a lot of times a person comes into our life to mirror back to us those shadow aspects of ourself that we keep hidden. And a lot of times people don't want to acknowledge that. That's why opposites attract. You hear that. It's because most of the time when we meet a person and they sweep us off of our feet, that thing that we enjoy about them is also the thing that we're going to not like so much and this person a lot of times is going to mirror back to us that aspect of ourself that we really don't want to see and so just being aware of that is important I do feel like you and this person are headed towards a separation because this person keeps overstepping a boundary and I honestly don't feel like they are in this energy of of listening. Um, there's a little bit of tit for tat going on. So there may be a need for some distance, hence the separation card. But again, you and this person will cross paths again in the future because of the soul tie connection. And when that happens, will you guys connect and be able to build that solid foundation and move forward? Or will it be the same thing again? So, and then finance and career. Obviously, you guys have, I honestly feel like this is calling to the aspect of this is affecting more than just relationships. So being mindful, 
being mindful that this is affecting other areas of your life and knowing that maybe there is a need for some space at this time. So Scorpio, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. I hope the message was helpful and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.